Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Till, and I am back with another video. If you are new here, go ahead and like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that little bell icon so you can get a notification every time I post a new video. Okay? Okay. Hello, stranger. It's been a minute since we last kicked it. By the way, just got in town. And I won't let you me this cloud. It's all in the sky. In today's video, I am going to be doing a install slash review slash all of the above on this hair right here. Give me out all the details about this hair that y'all need to know before you purchase it. This is the West Kiss Hair 180 Density Curly Wave 13 by 6 Lace Frontal Wig in 24 inches. So y'all see how big and curly this hair is? Yeah. This hair is just so pretty and y'all know me my curly hair <laughs> we're like this we're gonna be together forever stay tuned for the rest of this video y'all can get all the information on this hair how it looks how it bleaches what it washes like everything that you need to know about this hair all the details for this hair will be in the description box down below so go ahead and click that now let's get into this video Okay, so we are here with the West Kiss hair. Um, as y'all know, if y'all been to my channel before, I go in, show y'all all the stuff that they send me, and then I get into the hair. So this hair is so pretty, especially when I took it first out the package. The lace is transparent lace, and this is a 13 by 6, so you see how deep that part is. Now let's get into the construction of the wig. The construction is super neat, which we love. We love a good construction wig. And it has two clips on the side, one clip at the bottom, an elastic band, some extra lace in the back, of course, if you wanted to glue down the back of the lace, as well as two bands to tighten up the lace. So now it's time for customization. Um, to start this process, we are going to be using the Clairo Professional BW2 powder and the 20 developing liquid. I know a lot of people like to use 30, but I like to use 20. Don't, don't ask me why. So we're going to mix it to the point where it's at a consistency of toothpaste. That is the consistency that you need. And if it comes out too liquidy, you just add more powder. But if it comes out too thick, you just add more liquid. It's kind of simple. I also feel like if I can do it, then anybody can do it. Because I do not be doing wigs, okay? So here we are. We have the lace exposed on the wig. And we are going to start laying that mixture onto the wig. So I start in the back of the wig because the lace or the knots in the front of the wig are a lot thinner than the ones in the back. And you want the ones to bleach just as well. So we start in the back and then we move up to the front. So you can tell that the wig is really good because as I'm still laying down that bleach, the knots are already lifting. Like the color is changing. I over bleached the knots by accident, but it's okay because we are going to fix it and we're going to make it look good. So here's the wig after being washed and air dried for a little while. Um, I want us to show y'all these curls because the curls is curling, okay? So now that you have a few clips of the hair, let's get into plucking. To start, I'm going to add some of this mousse or foam, whatever fits you best. I use the Nairobi um, foaming lotion. Then I'm going to comb all those hairs back just so that I can make sure I'm not over plucking. I'm going to go in, starting from one side, I'm going to start plucking, going backwards, then I'm going to skip a section, and then pluck the next section. I don't know, this is just the way I learned how to pluck hair, and this is just the way I like to pluck my hair. So once I'm done with that, now we can get ready for this install. 
as y'all can see, I'm already braided down thanks to my sissy. She braided me down and now I'm going to use that got to be glue gel to go ahead and push all those edges back. I don't know about y'all, but I need my edges. And we just want to make sure it just doesn't get tangled in that glue when you put that wig on. So now I'm using this cap. It's not the original cap, but this is more like the sheer knee-high stockings that everyone's been using lately. Then using that even Wonderlay spray, I'm going to spray down that cap so that we can stick it down. By the end of this bald cap, you should be looking like Little Bill. Getting right into it, I'm going to take my razor and I'm going to cut the holes in between my ears just to get my ears out and make sure that cap is really down. For some reason, the ear tabs are always the hardest part for me. Once that's all sprayed down and stuck, I'm going to take the wig off the mannequin head and start to tint that lace. So I'm going to be using the Ruby Kisses foundation cream in the color 9. And this is the color that matches my skin color. So I'm going to section out those ear tabs. Um, just how you see me doing here and then I'm going to twist it down so I don't lose that part and once I take the wig off I'm just gonna cut those out and then tint the lace with a makeup brush to cut the ball cap I'm literally just cutting off that one resistance band in the front and then taking my razor and going across my hairline just how you see me doing it here is really easy if I end up cutting it a little bit too low down my hairline I can always pull it up just like you see me doing it here and just cut whatever I need to cut off now you see me taking the end of my rat tail comb and the glue and you see me just laying down some of those parts that did not lay as well I'm taking some alcohol on a cotton ball and wiping off the excess glue and the excess spray that was you know just the residue that was there and I'm going to place that wig on my head, place it to the point where it looks good to my liking. Making sure those air tabs fit and, you know, it just looks good. It looks good to me. So now I'm going to cut that lace down the middle. Now I'm not going to cut it too far up because I don't want to cut off my hairline, but I'm going to just cut it down the middle because it's easier for me to stick that lace down when once that glue is dried up. So here you see me applying the glue. I'm not applying too much glue because I do want it to dry very clear. This is my second layer that you see me applying right here. I only do two layers because that works for me. Like two layers is good for a good week at least. But if you want to apply more, you go ahead and do that. Of course, making sure that that glue is tacky. I'm going to pull that lace forward so that I can now stick that lace to the glue. I do like to leave a little bit of the hairline in front of the glue so that it's not too sticky or doesn't look too unnatural in that sense. I'm not a wig expert but I try my best. Taking that comb, I'm going to use the comb to go ahead and brush down that lace to the glue so it's kind of like giving it some tension without the oils on my fingers. Then I'm going to use some of that spritz. If you know about spritz baby, you know about spritz. So I'm going to use some of that spray, spritz to spray on top of the lace and then I'm going to tie that lace down so that it can melt just a little bit more. While the wrap is on, I decided to spray down my hair just to give it that wet look. I did want to show y'all how it looks while it's wet. Once again, while it's installed in my head. And of course, my little brother want to come bother me. Hi, Keon. Hello. What do you want? <laughs> Um, I'm gonna comb that out and y'all see those curls. Y'all, I love curly hair. Now, if my hair was to ever get this curly on its own, yeah, I'd be a natural girly. But until then, we're just gonna stick to this wig. So just to make sure those curls are defined, I'm going to add a little bit of that mousse or setting, setting mousse or whatever. This is the mousse that I'm using. I didn't show y'all earlier, but this is the mousse that I've been using this whole video. So I'm gonna use some of those mousse. The lot of body is probably my favorite, but the locking stuff is probably second best. Now that I took that wrap off, I'm going to comb out some of those edges because it was a little stiff after applying all that spritz and spray. Now I'm also going to cut off this lace. 
Blow the way, twist and turn, twist and turn, yeah. Baby, call me, I too fly, I get burned. Anyways, we're gonna part that hairline and then, of course, you know, there might be a few pieces that you didn't like that didn't stick as well. I'm just gonna spray a little bit more of that spray and add that wrap again so that we could really lay it down because at this point during this video, I did not like the way the lace was laying down. So here we are, the wrap is removed again, and now we are going to pull out those baby hairs. Like, the lace did lay down a lot better, it was not as seamless because of the color of the lace, but we're going to fix that in a second. Um, I'm just pulling out a piece of the baby hairs and then I'm going to pluck it. Plucking it makes the baby hairs look a little bit more natural to me. Like, it's not like a, a very dense part. It's just to like, you know, dense out that part just a little bit. And then I am cutting off some of those baby hairs. I'm not cutting it off completely because I just wanted to see how I like the baby hairs before I cut them too short. And I can't go back after I cut them too short. I will be doing this to both sides. I'm plucking the next side and cutting the next side as well. I know they look really long right now, but you just have to trust the process. And one mistake that I also made was curling those baby hairs away from my face. I should have curled them towards my face, but you know, some people like them curled towards, some people like them curled, curled away. Me, I just chose to curl them away this day. Whatever, it worked out. Um, now I'm applying some mousse to lay those baby hairs down and then once I'm done doing that I am going to spray them with some of that spritz just to make sure they don't go anywhere. Also to sharpen up that part as well as cover up some of those overly bleached knots I'm going to use my concealer in my shade. Maybe it's like one shade lighter, but either way it works. I'm going to mark off that part just to make sure it's very precise. Then I'm going to use that black tint spray in the end of my rat tail comb and spray that. If I did miss a part because I didn't want to get it on the front of my lace, I'm going to use my mascara and just fix it as much as I can. Okay, you guys, so the hair is fully dried. This is about a day later from my in original install, and I haven't washed or did anything to this hair. I have put mousse at the top. Like, it'll probably be a little wet from my showers and stuff. Other than that, this is the curl pattern that you will get after um, installing this hair, washing it, and then letting it air dry. Details about this hair. Once again, this is hair from West Kiss Hair. It is the 180 density curly wave 13 by 6 lace frontal wig and 24 inches of course um it might not look like 24 inches now but once it's like pulled out and straightened it's definitely 24 inches it's still a lot and it's still really big hair and y'all know me <laughs> if you know me you know i like my big hair i love my big hair okay what i can say is that that lace is definitely deep it's definitely 13 by 6 as far as washing the hair when i washed it i was so surprised that there was no residue or anything in the water when you wash hair sometimes when you wash hair you will get that like brown residue from like different processing that the company goes through for the hair to get a certain texture or whatever the case is anytime that i wet this hair or wash this hair the comb and the brush or whatever i'm using to detangle the hair goes right through it so it's super easy to detangle when i bleach the knots i do want to say that i did over bleach the knots i definitely over bleached the knots i just thought that this hair wouldn't bleach as fast so that was a mistake on my behalf at least we know that the knots bleach and it doesn't take long so i left the bleach on there for about 30 to 35 minutes it was damn near icy white bright yellow 613 hair uh, 613 knots by the time i was done if i just left it on there for maybe 15 to 20 minutes that would have been the perfect bleaching color but you know we made it work this hair is so nice as y'all can see i do want to give y'all like the dry review i wish i did uh define the curls just a little bit more before going on video but y'all see like this is y'all get it 
Okay, the curls is curling. Yeah, this is a perfect curl pattern. Yeah, once again, I want to thank West Kiss Hair for sending me this hair. All of the information will be in the description box down below. Make sure y'all follow me on social media, which will be popped up right here. Okay, you guys, so that will be all for this video. If you like this video, go ahead and like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that little bell icon so you can get a notification every time I post a new video. Comment down below if y'all like this hair or this curl pattern. And if you want to see some more updated videos on this hair or this wig or whatever, you know, if y'all want to see some more updated videos, different hairstyles I can achieve with this because we can so yeah all the information for this hair will be in the description box down below so go ahead and check that out if you do want to purchase this hair so yeah thank you guys for watching this video and until next time bye